Let's talk about sex. Never has our culture been so sex-saturated, so explicitly carnal. In the age of the Internet and extreme individual liberty, sex really is everywhere, so much so that adults who do not have sex, who remain virgins into their 30s and beyond, they not only seem exceptional, they seem in a way revolutionary. And in fact, their numbers are growing. So tonight, we meet these sex dissenters, you might call them. Here's ABC's Stephanie Sai for our series, Modern Sex in America. You may kiss your bride. It may go down as one of the most cringeworthy kisses in television history. Two virgins hitting first base on their wedding day. And easy fodder for the Ellen DeGeneres show. Dear diary, <laughs> today I had my first kiss. Not worth the wait. Ryan and Shanna are part of TLC's new show, Virgin Diaries, chronicling the lives of virgins in their 30s. I have never seen a penis before. I'm 35 years old and I'm a virgin. We're both still virgins. They may seem like a cultural anomaly, especially when you see that kiss. But government statistics show virginity is on the rise. The number of virgins between the ages of 15 to 24 has increased in recent years. 27% of men and 29% of women consider themselves virgins. Do you want one? Yeah. yeah. Who made them? As do three attractive roommates living together near Vancouver, oh, cool. all around 30 years really old, cool all Christians. Lisa's only kissed one boy. It's not just, I'm not going to have sexual intercourse, but I'm actually going to um, honor the person that I'm with, and they're going to honor me. Danielle was once engaged. It's challenging because of the stigma that's associated with being a virgin, especially a virgin who's older than whatever age people think people should be having sex by. So. <laughs> and Tamara is part of a subset of so-called reclaimed virgins who was once sexually active. And I remember I would be lying there afterwards and half the time I would end up crying. And it was always this feeling of like there's something missing. That doesn't mean they're not ready to find love. The women are so ready for marriage and sex. They've diagrammed their dating life. <laughs> so here we have Lisa in first place, which is shocking, shocking. Maybe One, not, two, three, four, shocking. five. A girl is advertising something when she's a virgin. She's advertising that she can control her sexual urges, that she's looking for a certain kind of individual, that she's got certain values, that she's got certain goals. And then what are the downsides to waiting? They haven't learned anything about sex. They haven't learned a great deal about themselves. They don't know how to handle somebody, not only in bed, but in the courtship process. But Lisa is under no illusions about what the first time might be like. I don't think, I don't think any of us live in a, in a fantasy or a fairy tale of, it's just going to be wonderful, yeah. <laughs> and the first night is going to be the best thing in the whole wide world. Like, I don't think that's how it goes. I think if he's experienced, awesome. If he's not, we'll learn together. Yeah. yeah. For women, admitting you're a virgin carries less of a stigma. Tito keeps it. There aren't many famous men who've advertised their virginity, save for Tim Tebow, who's been called the only virgin in the NFL. And Steve Carell's character in The 40-Year-Old Virgin was no Tim Tebow. I've borked a lot of women in my day. You've borked? Are you a virgin? Are you a virgin? Yeah, yeah not, not since I was 10. That makes so much sense, man. He's a virgin. Just imagine the ribbing 35-year-old Carrie gets from his buddies. The mortgage analyst has got his own place, a cat, and cool glasses. Yet he's only ever imagined his first time. What are we doing? He's imagined it plenty. For the first time, yeah, I think I would have to have music playing, and I would probably want the lights off. The music is to cover up the funny noises, and the lights off is to cover up the funny facial expressions. How romantic? Being a guy who's a virgin at his age is, well, let's just say not even his mom could believe it. Wow. Too much information. <laughs> you didn't know that? Oh, how would I know that? Yeah, I guess so. we don't really talk about that very often. <laughs> I think you just should get that taken care of some way or other. <laughs> But yeah. is it really that unheard of? Is there an age at which it really becomes odd to not have had sex, single or not? I think that most uh, uh, Americans do think that it is strange. If you make it into your mid to late 20s and you've never had sex, people wonder, 
what's wrong with you? Sex is natural. It's an enormously uh, powerful drive and a fundamental part of uh, human pro procreation. <laughs> what's remarkable about all the subjects of virgin diaries is how they all clearly have normal sex drives, but are doing just fine without it. Their brains have overridden their bodies. <laughs> Carrie makes fudge to address his desires. And you know what they say about orgasmic chocolate. Best I ever made. And the three roommates say their lives are not lacking in much. You know, I love to, to get out in nature and, yeah. and hike Be and, and being active. Yeah. I don't think that you explode if you don't have sex. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. So what does happen if you've never had it? You may not be as skilled or experienced a lover come the special day, but you may also have saved yourself a world of heartache. Then there's this possibility at the end of the long wait. An undoubtedly odd, devouring kiss. But a lifetime commitment to work on the finer details. For Nightline, I'm Stephanie Sai in New York.